right, page 13 starts with um, another log equation. So um, I want to get the log by itself before I can convert to an exponential because I have a logarithm and a number on the other side. So I'm going to add the 5 over, leaving me with log base 5 of 6x equals 3. And then um, in order to solve a log equation, set equal to a number, convert to an exponential. So we say 5 to the third equals 6x, and 5 to the third is 120, no, 5 cubed, yes, is 125. So we've got 125 equals 6x, and then um, to solve for x, I divide by 6. And that's my answer. That's all I can do. Now, the only, um, the only x inside the equation is multiplied by 6 on the inside, so 125 uh, divided by 6 times 6 is 125, that's positive, so we don't need to worry about it not being, uh, or it, that, it, that it's extraneous. Okay, I've got two logarithms separated by addition, so I'm going to combine them using multiplication. Natural log of 3 times 2x minus 5 equals 4. So, we've got um, 6x minus 15 on the inside. Now we can work this one of two ways. We can either um, just use what we know about natural logs, and the natural log and the exponent e, or we can um, use what we know about the logarithm, natural log being log base e, and convert. I prefer to just think of it like this. I know that the um, opposite of the natural log is the exponential e. So if I raise both sides as a power of e, basically doing log base e. Uh, or, hmm. that's exactly what I said, the exponent, okay, um, th and here's the reason why. If I have 2 to the log base 2 of x, those cancel each other such with x, just like log base 2 of 2 to the x is x, okay, log is an operation acting on it, 2 is the base of the exponent, right, so if I have um, 10 to the log of 7. That is 7 because that's an understood base 10 and when that happens I can just mark them out. Just like e and log base e of 5 is just 5 and log base e is natural log so e to the natural log of 5 is 5. So those cancel each other out. Okay? So this is, I'm just left with 6x minus 15 equals e to the fourth. And so the idea is to solve for x and yes, I have an e to the fourth over there, but it doesn't really matter. It's just e to the fourth. And if you want to do numerical, then you could do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave it alone. So I'm going to add 15. So I have 6x equals e to the fourth plus 15. And then I'm going to divide by 6. And I'm done. So x equals e to the fourth plus 15 divided by 6. Okay. On 102, uh, 102 and 103, it says uh, simplify in each and state the excluded values. So the first thing you want to do is always factor. And I noticed that the, well, that's rude. Um, this one right here, the numerator, they all have uh, two r's in them, and then they all are divisible by two. So I'm going to factor out a two and an r squared, and I'm going to be left with r squared plus two r minus 15. So 30 divided by two is 15. Both r's are gone. Two r's are gone, leaving me one. Two r's are gone, leaving me two. And the denominator, I'm going to factor out an r, and I'm left with r squared plus eight r plus 15. Okay, at this point I realize that I'm not done factoring, so I'm going to factor the numerator again. I'm looking for the factors of negative 15 that add up to positive 2, and that would be a 5 and a 3, with the 3 being the negative one. So I'm going to put r plus 5 and r minus 3, and mark that out so I know that I'm going to uh, use that. And then in the denominator I need the factors of 15 to add up to a positive 8, which is going to be 3 and 5 again, but this time they're both positive. So r plus 3 and r plus 5. And I'm going to mark that up. Okay, 
So at this point, it says uh, simplify and state the excluded values. So the first thing I want to do is state the excluded values. Well, R cannot equal, okay? In my denominator, I don't care about the numerator, just the denominator. What would make this zero? So first I have an R outside, so that's zero. Because if I plugged in zero for R, everything would be zero. Zero times five times three, which would be zero. Here I know if it was negative five, I would get zero. And here I know if it was negative three, I would get zero. Okay, and now I need to simplify. R plus fives are gone, right? Now I had a lot of people on the last test, you, you guys forgot to cancel out a variable on the front. So they both have at least one R. So I'm really just left with um, 2r times r minus 3 over r plus 3. And so my final answer is going to be 2r squared minus oops, 6r divided by r plus 3, as long as r does not equal those three numbers. OK. Number 103. I'm going to see what factors out of the numerator that I notice that they're both divisible by, or all, both. All three are divisible by two, and they all have one, at least one n in them. So I'm going to take out a two and an n, and I'm left with n squared plus seven n plus ten. And the denominator, I notice, is divisible by four, so four times n plus two. Okay, and then the numerator. I notice that I can factor as well to n plus 5 and n plus 2. And then that means that my factors that cancel out are going to be n plus 2 and it, well, okay, I should go ahead and state right here. n cannot equal negative 2 because of that one right there. Even though it cancels out, even though it simplifies out, it's still the original expression uh, will not equal what we get in the final expression if n equals negative 2. And the only other thing I can simplify is 2 and 4, so that's a 1 and a 2. So I'm left with n times n plus 5 divided by just 2, or n squared plus 5n divided by 2. So that and that makes up my answer. All right, number 104, which is not something that I say very often. Um, k plus 5 and 6k, the only way that you can, well, actually, I'm going to simplify things. Yeah. Okay. Looking at 104, I noticed some things that I don't know if you'll notice. So I'm going to work it out as if you didn't notice. Um, the only way you can add fractions if they have a common denominator, k plus 5 and 6k have no common factors. This is... The factors of 6 are 2 and 3 and then k, right? k plus 5 is a quantity. k plus 5 is not a factor of this. And k is not a factor of k plus 5. k is a part of it, but it's not a factor. So they need each other. So I would multiply by k plus 5 over here. And over here, I'm going to multiply by 6k. OK. So that leaves me with 36k squared plus 2k squared plus 10k over the common denominator 6k times k plus 5. Now my numerator I can combine 36k squared and 30 and 2 and that means I get 38k squared plus 10k all divided by 6 k times k plus 5. And the reason I'm leaving that factored out is because my numerator can factor. I can factor out a 2 and a k. And I'm left with 19k plus 5. And I've got 6k times k plus 5. These k plus 5s do not cancel out because that's a 19k plus 5. If you cancel out those 5s or those k's or those mm, k plus 5s, um, you're fired. Okay, um, but I do notice that the, the expressions in the front can simplify. Uh, the k's can simplify because I'm multiplying. And 2 and 6 through 1 and 3. So my final answer is going to be 19k plus 5 divided by 3 times k plus 5. So 3k plus 15. Okay, so I want to talk for a second about how to do this more easily. I 
is 6k over k plus 5 plus 2k over 6k. And I notice that this second expression, 2k over 6k, is not as simplified as it could get. The k's can cancel out, and the 2 and the 6 can simplify to 1 third. So I'm really dealing with 6k over k plus 5 plus 1 third. So my common denominator is just 3 times k plus 5. So 3 on this side, k plus 5 on this side. So I'm dealing with 18k plus k plus 5 over 3 times k plus 5 which is 19k plus 5 over 3k plus 15 which is a much faster route to our final answer if you ask me. So if you can simplify at the very beginning um, I would because it would make your life easier. And I will post that. Okay on number 105 what I want to do is just factor both expressions as much as possible. So uh, 8x plus 48, I know I can factor out an 8, and I'm left with x plus 6. And I got a 9x here. Well, on this one, I know I can factor out both a 2 and an x, and I'm left with x minus 2. And I know that the factors of negative 12 that add up to 4 are um, positive 6 and negative 2. So. I know my x plus 6's cancel out, I know my x minus 2's simplify out, and I know x divided by x cancels out, and I'm really just left with 8 times 2 divided by 9, which is 16 ninths. And there we go. Number 106. Now on this one I am um, dividing. So that means I'm going to take this first expression. I am going to factor out a 9. And I'm left with n plus 7. And a 9 in the denominator, which I can go ahead and simplify if I want to. Okay, change that, though, to a time symbol. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor this one and put it in the numerator now instead of the denominator because they you multiply by the reciprocal when you divide by a fraction. So I need the factors of 32 that add up to negative 12, and a negative 4, and negative 8. So m minus 4 and m minus 8. And on this one, I need the factors of negative 16 to add up to negative 6. And I'm thinking negative 8 and positive 2. So m minus 8 and m plus 2. Which isn't super helpful, but whatever. Okay, so the m minus 8s also simplify. I've got the 9s and the m minus 8s. So I'm just left with this which would multiply out to give me m squared minus 4m plus 7m is plus 3m and then minus 28 over m plus 2. So not everything is going to cancel out. Don't expect it because then you'll be you'll feel like you're wrong and you're not. Okay now this is a fraction divided by another fraction just like the problem before, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top fraction and write it right here, and I'm going to say times the bottom fraction, only I'm going to flip and multiply. And I am going to fra uh, factor as I go. So I notice that the first one is x squared minus 2x minus 80. So I need the factors of negative 80 that add up to negative 2, and that is 8 and 10, with 10 being negative. Okay. The denominator... I see has an x in every term, so I'm going to factor that out. And then I'm going to think of the factors in negative 50 that add up to 5, and I'm thinking 10 and 5. x plus 10 and x minus 5. And then over here, this is going to go to the numerator. So I need to factor out a 3x, and I'm left with x minus 5. And then this one. So this one I'm going to rewrite as negative x squared plus 2x plus 80, which I'm going to write as negative x squared minus 2x minus 80. Yeah? 
which is just negative of that, right? So I already know it's going to be that. But it's negative times x minus 10 times x plus 8. So I start simplifying. x minus 10 and x plus 8. x minus 10 and x plus 8. x minus 5 and x minus 5. An x with an x, and I'm left with a 3 in the numerator, and x plus 10 in the denominator. Whoa, just kidding, and a negative. So I'm going to float the negative to the top, and there we go. On 108, you've got a fraction, <coughs> and within that fraction, you've got the sum of two other fractions. So, the first thing you need to do is combine uh, these two fractions with the denominator. The only way you can add fractions is with a common denominator, so I need an x squared on this side, and I need a 3 on this side. So I've got 4 over 1 divided by x squared plus 9, because see, this is just one fraction now x squared plus 9 over the common denominator, 3x squared. So that is equivalent to saying 4 over 1 times, flip the fraction, 3x squared over x squared plus 9. And I don't see anything that simplifies numerator and denominator because this is addition, and I cannot cancel out anything with that. So my final answer is 12x squared over x squared plus 9. And there you go. On 109, my denominators are already kind of similar. This one has a 2 and that one has a 2, and they are factors. So this is 2 times x, so there's an x right there, and I'm good. So I've got 2 over 1 divided by, so that's that, right? Now, my denominator and the denominator is 2x, and then I've got this numerator. I've got x squared minus all of that. So I'm going to distribute the minus because I'm minusing both of those, minus x and then plus 1. So that is equivalent to saying 2 over 1 times 2x, flip the fraction, over x squared minus x plus 1. There are not factors of 1 that add up to negative 1, so I cannot factor the denominator. I don't need to worry about it anyway. So my numerator is 4x over x squared minus x plus 1. And now I've got this one. Okay. I need, um, I actually have uh, subtraction in the numerator and addition in the denominator, which is kind of interesting. So I need to find common denominators in both numerator and denominator. So I've got 3a plus 5 and a. They are neither factors of each other. So I'm going to multiply by a on this side and by 3a plus 5 on this side. Okay, so equals. Okay, and I said okay 14 times. There's my common denominator. In the numerator. And now I'm going to multiply this out. So I've got a times 4, which is 4a, minus this times this. So I'm going to multiply this out up here, and then I'm going to distribute it on the minus sign. a times 3a is 3a squared. a times 5 is 5a. 2 times 3 is 6a, which is 11a combined, and then 2 times 5 is 10. So I'm actually subtracting all of this. So minus 3a squared, minus 11a, and minus 10. So my numerator is actually um, full, oop, just kidding. Negative 3a squared, combine this one and that one, n minus 7a minus 10 over a times 3a plus 5 times, and we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. The denominator, um, this is a over 1, so I need a common denominator of 3. So this is 5a plus 3a, that is 8a over 3, which means I'm multiplying by 3 over 8a. Okay, so that means to me 
that my final answer will be. Um, nothing simplifies out this um, positive 30 to add up to negative 7. No, all right, let me see. Negative 3a squared minus 7a minus 10. I'm going to factor out the negative so I don't have to deal with it. Yeah, it's not going to then. Factor the 30 to add up to positive 7? No. But then negative 30 is not okay. Okay, so I don't need to worry about it. Alright, so I'm really just going to distribute a 3 to all of this. So minus 9a squared minus 21a minus 30 over 8a squared times 3a that is 8a squared times 3a plus 5 24a cubed plus 40a squared and that is my final answer for that alright that's page 13